This little alcove right here had plants in it. Uh, it had a nice um, uh, tile floor in there. It's all been taken out. I don't know why. Did the tile match the yeah. edge there? Yeah. And it's gone? It's gone. For no reason that I can think of. So this was sort of a... Um, a sunroom? Green room? Yeah, a green room. Mm -hmm. Little bowl of plants, you know, hanging plants and different kinds of plants. Okay. So. That's and the then backyard over here, through the windows there. Okay. Over here, there's a double fireplace, and this side has been completely closed off. And. They did that? They put this here. There was really a nice. This whole area was really nicely done. And. I mean, it was beautiful. There was a mantle here. It's gone. So you're telling me there was a fireplace here? Oh, there. It's covered. Uh huh. And the it's mantle. It's still there. Right. The fireplace. And then on the other side is another fireplace. That's it's a double fireplace between the living room and the recreation room. The recreation room was added on a slab. So that's that's relatively new. Okay. Um, and that's. Now this fire pit out here, I don't know if you can see it. Uh-huh. That was not here before. And uh, I got a complaint from um, the, um, for burning fire here. One of my neighbors complained about the firewood that was being burnt and it was causing smoke. And the whole time that the Twinkers were living in this house, they were burning carpets out there and all kinds of illegal uh, materials that were toxic and nobody complained. And yet, uh, when I burned some firewood, I got complaints. <laughs> so I'm not even gonna use that fire pit anymore because it's thousands of dollars in fines if I do. I did not know that. Yeah, I didn't know it either. And as soon as the so officer came here, I immediately doused it, poured water on it. Right, you said, okay. I and we're removing all the ashes and debris. Uh-huh. Because they're so, toxic, I guess. Oh. Any kind of wood, plywood included, that's been treated yeah. with chemicals is toxic, mm -hmm. which I didn't know. Now I know. Right. But why didn't the neighbors complain when the squeaker, the tweakers were here, squatters, tweakers, <laughs> I just created a new word. They were burning every day. I mean, this was their, how they kept warm. And I guess they're afraid because tweeters are dangerous. Tweakers, not tweeters. That's Twitter. <laughs> so. Um, so when you say that was their only source of heat, why Outside. Was that? Well, no, they had, they had generators. There were seven generators that I found that some of them were buried. I don't know. There's holes all over the place. I don't know what they were burying in those holes. But, <clears throat> you know, they were keeping warm by because they had lost the electricity. They were stealing from the meter. They bypassing the meter. And when PG&E found out, they turned everything off. So they had to find other ways to keep warm. I see. Okay, so the mantle is gone. Yeah, and the, and the fireplace is covered up. The, uh -huh. the fire doesn't even work. It has to be cleaned because if you look on the other side, you'll see soot. It's a miracle the house didn't burn down. Can you show me? Yeah. Okay. Now, this is the recreation room. I want to get the floor yeah, here because the floor looks damaged. Oh, yeah, this is going to have to be entirely replaced. All of this is going to be replaced. It cost a hundred dollars just for one sheet of plywood today, plus tax. And over here, you can see where they covered it up with the tear in the uh, Can you get under the sink too? Be Let's careful. See.
You see where they covered up the tear and the, um, it looks like somebody took a knife to it into the upholstery there, so it's just covered up. Now in here, I'm going to turn on some lights. They have um, extension cords all over the house to, you know, because they, they were using a generator for electricity, so they used extension cords. Now here's the other fireplace. Sunken living room here. See how bad, how dirty it is in there. There was a screen in front of here. I don't know what happened to it. It looks like it's been destroyed. But if you can get right in there, you can see some of the stuff that they were burning that's toxic. Yeah, there we go. Oh, so this is what you found in here when you arrived? Yeah. Well, I cleaned the worst of it out. Oh. I'm going to need a shovel to get the rest of it out. There was pieces of carpet in there. Mm. Why would they burn carpet? And there's a suit all over. And you can see the redwood is really beautiful in the view through the window. So tell us about the construction of this house and how what you know about it and how it was built. Well, the original owner was also a contractor. I'm the third owner. And when he built this house, it was made entirely out of hand-picked redwood, so there's no knots. And you can see in the other room how beautiful that wall is. Now, in here, you can see there's a changing room here. And they painted over here. See up there? And then they put nails in here in this beautiful redwood. There's nails and, and hooks. See this? And then in here, this was such a great bathroom, this room for four people to take a shower. And it's destroyed. You can't take a shower in here. What happened? If you look at the shower head, they've been capped because they're broken. I don't know how they got, they clean themselves. Okay. And over here is another bathroom. And I was trying, if you point the camera right here, this pops up when I try to, to force the water down because it's plugged. 